about the hook. Sportsman's Adventures and part two of our special Bahamas fishing adventure. Last week, we introduced you to Ian Rademacher and Adam Dan. These two native Bahamians have spent their entire lives fishing Ooh, and diving the beautiful line. and bountiful waters of the Bahamas. Ian, Adam, and Captain Rick spent the day on the Dutch bar. No, it wasn't a booze cruise. The Dutch bar is an underwater seamount famous for attracting big schools of yellowfin tuna. The tuna bite best when the light levels are low, early morning and late afternoon. So in the middle of the day, we changed our tactics. James Point is another underwater seamount located just off Eleuthera's northeast coast. Take a line. Not this second, enough. <laughs> He's way he, up off the bottom. I was really yeah, on the jig. He was up. midway when he bit. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Chances are. I think it's a silver grouper. Kingfish. Oh my gosh. <laughs> kingfish. In the water. Keep in the water. Nice kingfish. Nice king. <laughs> nice 
Nice fish. Nice fish. That's a smoker that just got smoked by the map doggy. Dang, look nice at that. Nice fish. Watch them out. Watch those teeth. Nice fish. Why you got the barrel pointed at me, Adam? Let's go. Good. Nice fish. Cool beans, guys. Hey, hey, hey. That is a big kingfish. Look how fat he is. Yeah. What do we want to do here? Get that hook out or no, wait till he dives? My hand's kind of near his mouth. I hear you. Here. There we go. There you have mouth on that thing. Man, how big is that kingfish? Nice fish. Yeah. Say it's 40. Hey, <laughs> that's a way to get introduced to one another. Hey. How you good doing, job. buddy? You did a good job on that. How about that? I'm glad I was reeling this. Oh, yeah. Home. I mean, because with a mono, you wouldn't stand a chance. Get him in the box before he butts someone. Before he goes, realizes something bad just happened. You start seeing all the flash bulbs go off, you'll know. That's a healthy thing. Wow. Look at the girth on that kingfish. A lot of tournaments are going with fish like that. Yes, sir. That's a good gap, huh? <laughs> yeah. Coming off there. Get him in there, Ian. Better call Niebuhr, tell him to make a bigger fish box. Whew. Dang. Nice fish, man. Good. Hey, Get couldn't have done job. it without you. Definitely. It's great. Couldn't have done it without you. Hey, it never Good hurts job. to be lucky, because that is all luck. You talking about 80 pound mono with a three quarter ounce Hank Brown, I mean a three ounce Hank Brown. I was reeling off the bottom to go to another place. Caught a big one. And got the bite. Wow, nice fish. I don't know about you at home, but I can tell you right there, there's a cameraman that will do whatever I ask right now to eat this fish. Sportsman's Adventures is brought to you by Florida, the fishing capital of the world. Yamaha, when you want the best. Rapala, your best shot at a world record. Rapala Line, premium fishing line crafted from experience. Maverick, fish the legend. Minn Kota, anywhere, anytime. Hummingbird, simply, clearly, better. Florida is the fishing capital of the world hosting more than three million anglers per year. To maintain healthy fish populations, anglers are responsible for fishing legally. That means you must measure fish regulated by total length from the forward point of the head to the farthest tip while pinching the tail. Fork length fish are measured to the rear center edge or V of the tail. Visit myfwc.com for more information. Yamaha Four Strokes, reliable performance. A turn of the key, a touch of the throttle, and you know what to expect. Power, performance, and handling that are undeniably Yamaha. With a four-stroke lineup that ranges from 2.5 horsepower all the way up to an ocean-conquering 250 horses. Everyone is clean, quiet, fuel-efficient, feature-packed, and marine-inspired. Yamaha Four Strokes, just turn the key and go. Yamaha, reliability starts here. You know, I fish all over the world in over 300 days a year on the water. And as a matter of fact, I spend more time on the water than on dry land. If it swims in salt water, I catch it. Out here, where the fish are big and mean, your lures really take a beating. To survive, they must be tougher than the fish are. Back country to blue water, my choice in lures is simple. All over the world, big fish eat little fish that swim like a rapala. It takes a little more to make it out here. It's about guts, standing up to the elements, and quietly doing the job when others have long gone home. It takes Riptide, the toughest, most corrosion-resistant trolling motor ever built. When your reputation's on the line, hang it on Riptide, only from Minn Kota. I've been fishing all my life and seen some pretty cool things on the water. I've seen 180 pound tarpon jump in my boat. I've seen giant snook slam live bait. And I've also seen super shallow redfish I can easily pull to. I've seen a lot and a lot has changed except my boat builder, Maverick Boat Company. Make no mistake about it, Maverick makes the best technical polling skiffs, high speed backcountry skiffs and bay boats in the world. Hughes, Maverick or Pathfinder, number one for a reason. 
Spanish Wells in northern Eleuthera was home base for this adventure. The rustic charm of this small family island is famous throughout the Bahamas. This beautiful one and a half mile long fishing village is set among groves of stately palms and flowering trees. These hardworking Bahamians have been making their living from the rich bounty of these fish filled waters for more than 200 years. Spanish Wells is conveniently located just a short boat ride to some of the best fishing found anywhere. I like it going down deep. It's a big race to get up before the man in the brown suit gets him. <laughs> Looks like a jack. The black jack. Nice Step back, Jack! Black Jack! Look at it, it looks like a black trevally. Just like Adam said. Speaking speaking of Adam. Look at it, he's got the same mouth as a black trevally, as a trevally. With a forehead like an African. Yeah. Pretty cool. It's a nice fish. You go ahead and let him go. Yeah, let him go. Man, you see how that happened? I went down there, had a big black grouper on, and that jack went right over there, and he took the jig right out of his mouth. I saw it with my own two eyes. I saw it with my own two eyes. From 220 feet above him. <laughs> Somebody pass me something to drink. I'm getting old for this stuff. Come on now, don't be no cooter dog. Come on, get him in. It's not very big, whatever it is. It, it's, it's a good fish, so he's on your line. Now, Ian, we're over here in Spanish Wells in the month of May. Typically, what's the kind of weather that you guys usually have this time of year? Usually, it's fairly calm. During ten, the winter months. Ten knots or so? What's that? 10 knots, 10, 10 yeah. to 12, 10 to 15? 10 to 15 usually. Yeah. You know, we don't get any more cold fronts this time of year, so things stay pretty calm. It's still early to get any tropical storms. Right. Here. And how far is Spanish Wells from your home, which is Nassau? It's about 35 miles. So you just drive the boat home when we get done fishing here. You drive the boat home or you leave the boat here? I just drive it home. Oh, that's kind of cool. Less than an hour. Oh, it's a silver fish. Yeah. Looks like a jack. Horse eye. No. That's a big bar jack. Big bar jack. Yep, he came from the deep. You eat those, Ian? Yeah, they, they're super You can those eat them, but we don't. Real, they're really good to eat. We eat them, and they eat their primary diet on the flats. When you catch them on the flats with a bonefish and shrimp, they're really, really good. One of my favorite fish to eat. Put it on him, Adam. Come on, Adam. Come on, I'm rooting on you. Come on, Adam. Don't let him get you. Now look, we're over here at James Point in La Luthra, and I gotta say that the best time to be here is whenever you can cross from the United States. If you got some pretty weather in March, pretty weather in April, we move, and also pretty weather in May, this is the time to be here. Now you can do this bottom fishing anytime. Yeah. Now let me talk a little bit about, oh, what I got going on here? 
Whoa, 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 whoa. That's what it's all about, double hook. Exactly. We're going for triple right now. We got, what are these, 20 pound rods, Ian? Uh, those are actually 20 to 50, and I believe Adam's got them. 30 to 60. I'll race you to the top, Adam. Come on. Get your pantyhose off. Let's go. Come on. Come on, Adam. Now that I got mine three quarters of the way to the surface, I'm going to tell you I want to race. I think mine might be a little more substantial. Nice Look at that mud snapper. Nice fish. Look at the pecs on this fish, man. He is so beautiful. Look at those pecs on that fish. Now, I don't know about you at home. But I can tell you right there, there is a cameraman that will do whatever I ask right now to eat this fish. He is a snapper eating fool. Adam, yeah. come on now. This is the cousin of this fish. Look at the beautiful fins on that fish. Whoa. There it is, a triple header. One there, one there, and one here. Look at how beautiful that Ooh, mud nice fish, fish is. And he didn't get shot. That's what makes him even better. You gotta come. Anytime you can cross the Gulf Stream, come on over here. Get it on, man. March, nice April, fish. May, June. And jigging, the whole hardest part about this is getting down to the bottom and getting away from the sharks. Oh! Couldn't stop him. <laughs> the agony of defeat. <laughs> nice shot. Look at here. Look at Ian. Look. Got him a black jack. <laughs> Not to be mistaken for. A mud and snapper. Let's get him in here and let him go. <coughs> That's a big fish. Look, out, look at the pink colors in this fish. Obviously, the full moon whew, in May, if it's late in May, or an early June May, is when those mud and snappers are going to spawn. So we're here, right here in May, uh, the end of May with a full moon in about six days. Potentially, we could be right at the beginning of what's going on here. I like hugging them. Nice fish, buddy. Hey, let's Beautiful put him fish. in there. I know somebody's going to eat there. him. This side, that side? This side here. We got two, two wells full of fishes. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. Look at that. This Conservation Minute is brought to you by the Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission. Now let's talk about boating safety. It's really great to get out on the water, but did you know that hundreds of people each year are killed in boating accidents? Most of them drown during an accident that has happened while fishing or returning from a fishing trip. But there really is an easy way to make sure this doesn't happen to you. Wear a life jacket. Now I know what you're thinking. How in the heck am I going to be able to catch a big fish with this bulky life jacket on? Well, the problem's been solved. These inflatable belt packs are comfortable, lightweight, and easy to forget that you even have them on until you fall in the water and might possibly need it. These life-saving belts help you concentrate catching fish and making sure that you're able to catch fish and be back tomorrow. Contender Boats. Take it to the limit. Wherever you find fishing tournament winners, you'll find contender boat owners. First to the fishing grounds, first to the winner's circle. When you look for strength, versatility, and ocean ability, you find contender boats. Hand built, one by one, each and every one. Contender Boats is proud to introduce its new 23 Tournament Edition, the latest in true mid-sized offshore fishing rigs. Contender is committed to providing outstanding quality and performance. Nothing else delivers. Expect the most. Contender Boats. Yamaha's Big Block V6 Four Strokes. Everything you want when you're miles offshore. Everything and more. Up to 250 ocean conquering horses. More than enough top end muscle to move the big boats. Yamaha Turn the Key Reliability translates to confident starts, quiet, clean burning performance, smooth, powerful acceleration, and cruise all day fuel efficiency. Yamaha, reliability starts here. Every second on the water is critical. So to get to the fish fast, I rely on Humminbird. Humminbird's exclusive side imaging sonar shows me picture-like images of bait fish, schools, channel drop-offs, wrecks, and other structure. Navigation is easy and accurate with Humminbird's advanced 16-channel GPS and optional Navionics Platinum charts. Finding fish or finding my way, Humminbird is simply, clearly better. Wouldn't it be great if you could snap on a lure and just go fishing? 
with something that looks like, and more importantly, swims like the real thing. With lures that come pre-rigged with the best components available. With baits designed by people who fish all over the world. But most importantly, you tie these on your line, you're gonna catch some fish. Hey, Roland, what gives you total boat control? The power pole. And Shaw, what gives you the edge on wary fish? There's no other tool quite like a power pole. The power pole stops your boat when you want and where you want in up to eight feet of water without spooking the fish. Hey, Brian and Greg, how have you guys won so many redfish tournaments? Without a power pole, it'd be hard to do. And Captain Rick, what gives you total boat control in winning all of your tournaments? For total boat control, get the power pole. I've been fishing all my life and seen some pretty cool things on the water. I've seen 180 pound tarpon jump in my boat. I've seen giant snook slam live bait. And I've also seen super shallow redfish I can easily pull to. I've seen a lot and a lot has changed except my boat builder, Maverick Boat Company. Make no mistake about it, Maverick makes the best technical pulling skiffs, high speed backcountry skiffs and bay boats in the world. Hughes, Maverick or Pathfinder, number one for a reason. It takes so long to get a bite. <laughs> the hardest thing about this place is getting down to the bottom. Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh! Oh! Look at that. He's leaving. Burning a hole in my thumb. I think I hooked it. I don't know what I hooked. on the reel again, Adam. See if you can't tighten that. Do you see that run, brother? Yeah. Well, I'm I'm pretty pretty now, Got him. Got him the Just have a Jacob. seen the line that dumped off. Okay. 170 feet. Got him, brother. That's a fight like a grouper. Yeah. God, he must have taken it, man. That could be another king if he took off that much line. Oh, 
a big group one. There's a shark right behind him. Let's get him up. It's a big black group one. There's a shark right behind him. Yep. Nice fish, man. Ooh, don't let him do that. Get the leader. Pull the leader, Ian. Oh! And there's a group one right there! Where are you at, Logan? Sprawling alongside the mighty Gulf Stream are the flats, reefs, and steep drop-offs that surround the 700 islands of the Bahamas. These waters attract a huge variety of fish and fishermen alike. The Dutch Bar, James Point, and Shallow Ground are all legendary fish haunts. And for our three days in May, they all made this another great sportsman's adventure.